What's up? <coughs> Good morning. <coughs> there. Yes. Maybe. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How are you? What's up? Like Tom said, it's nice out. We're all here. That, that's a mercy right off the bat. Right off the bat. <laughs> Today, I really... This passage of scripture, it, like God has made so personal to me, and it's hit me so hard. It really, it like it, it speaks so much to me. It hit me so hard throughout my life, and how God's let me almost in a way live it out. It's uh, I don't know if you guys have heard this one, but it's a uh, Psalm one hundred seven, verses twenty three through thirty one, and it says. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. All right, let's break this down. Those who go down to the sea, the sea is the world. In ships, who do business on great waters, who are doing God's work in the world, who choose to go down to the sea. They have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. And these are things that these are movements that God does in the lives of many, in the lives of us. And we, whenever we go to work for him, we get to see those things for ourselves. This next verse kind of threw me for a loop up until <clears throat> just going it throughout my life and experiencing it for myself. And it says, for he spoke and raised up a stormy wind, which, which lifted up the waves of the sea. And I was really confused on that. I asked God, those waves are our emotions. Those waves are how you feel. Those are how you react to situations. And it says, right after that, it says, they rose up to the heavens. They went down to the depths. Their soul melted away in their misery. Now, in other translations, it's equal plight or a situation. So depending on what's going on, you know, we're going with the waves of our emotions. We're reacting based on how we feel. And it says right after that, they reeled and staggered like a drunken man and were at their wit's end. Because if you're following your emotions and living off based on how you feel, yeah, you're going to stagger and stumble back and forth because the ocean's throwing you every which way. I feel that too. <laughs> then it says they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And he brought them out of their distresses. He caused the storm to be still, so that the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad because then they were glad because they were quiet. So he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. Now I just want to clarify sometimes. That calming the sea when God hushes the sea. That's not always an external ocean. But that's an internal situation. And how you ride with those waves up and down. Those waves of your emotions to the storm of the sea. So my encouragement for you this week and for today is. Look to God. Look to find. Uh, cry out to him. He's, he's waiting for you to cry out to him. And just call to him. And seek him. You know what it says in Psalms 9, 10? It says, you, you have not forsaken those who seek you. Amen. And what that means is just looking to God for our help and for our salvation, not just for the salvation from sin, but for our daily salvation from the troubles that we run into. And he's faithful. I promise you, he will be there every single time. <clears throat> 